So they always say you want to start the season off with a win. Certainly did that today. Probably not the easiest of games, but what was your thoughts on your team's performance? Um, listen, it was, it was like a typical early season game at this level. A really nice, well-mown grass pitch, but dry as, so the ball was really sticky underfoot. We, we were guilty of far too many touches all over the pitch, always having to do a trick when we receive the ball rather than just getting it and moving it um, and consequently that got stuck under our feet and we lost possession but you, you have to be fair and honest that um, that you know we could have been outside at half time we did create quite a few chances uh, their goalkeeper to be fair to has pulled off three or four really good saves um, in, in areas where I would expect us to convert if I'm honest with you but so to go in uh, one nil, you're sort of thinking, well, we, we could have been out of sight, um, and you expect a reaction from from your, from your opponents, and they certainly gave us that. Um, and we were penned back, and we, we did look a threat on the counter attack. We're still guilty of doing what I was talking about: too too many touches, too many people running with the ball in bad areas rather than high up the pitch. One v ones are fine by me there, but mid third and back third is a no no for me. But in the end, what we did show was a lot of spirit. Um, you know, obviously going down to ten men. I, I, probably what 15 minutes of the added time uh, to, to, to go with 10 men so they show some resilience and commitment um, so as you say all in all uh, uh, our longest journey of the season opening day of the season uh, and we, we, we got a win so you know you've got to be happy with that so positives and negatives like you said we worked incredibly hard clean sheet as well the way it's always yeah. nice uh, yeah. created plenty of chances particularly in the first <laughs> half but from a slightly negative point of view picked it quite <laughs> a few yellow cards and yeah. obviously Gordon Cranston got sent off um, of what are your thoughts on I suppose the discipline and, and the cards yeah. picked up listen I, 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 we were just talking off air there and I said before the game I said to him listen every season at this time the referees will have had a meeting um, they'll have had a chat the, the assessors will have told them that X Y and Z needs to be clamped down on so expect him to be really busy really officious if you like um, for the most part he was he was okay and then he had a, an absolute maniac spell in the second half of, a, of where he was just wafting every single tackle seemed to be a a, a, a caution you know and that resulted obviously in Jordan's kind of second one for his for his red card um, you know in the end yeah you know we, we have to show more discipline more nous uh, you know sometimes you have to soak up a bit of pressure and, and be disciplined doing it so I, I said to him afterwards listen I, I, I'm not gonna lie I'm delighted with the result clearly but but with so much more for us to, to, to do to improve you know we're very much um, embryonic in terms of how I see the, the game um, I like us to be a lot more spiteful in the final third and that, that's been a, 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 a theme over over the pre-season you know where we you know we really could have buried some of our opponents by many many goals and we're, we're a little bit uh, profligate or whatever you want to call it in front of goal so we've got loads to improve on in and out of possession but listen they're showing a big heart and a willingness to, to have a right go which is what they did last season as well um, and if you've got that then you know you can you can um, you can move boundaries you know move mountains and get results probably that you're not expected to so you don't get much of a turnaround you don't the players don't how do you prepare for what will likely be a tough game oh, against yeah. Hazo and they obviously picked yeah. up three points as well today yeah. Yeah. But with uh, just a one day rest how do you go into that it's I mean it, you say it's the same for both teams which it is they've probably got a bigger squad than us which they have uh, they haven't got any travelling to do which we have so you know we've got to try and get some ice on the lads if we've got it. anything we can do food and hydration nutrition wise on the way back you know maybe being the Kentucky and going to one of them health ones in, in, in the services but um, in the end I've got to look at um, selection wise you know to, do I utilise Max Martin comes back into the equation although he's been sick all week with um, his other a sickness bug so we need to just touch base with him see if he's uh, how he's feeling um, and then we had one or two knocks and bruises Alex Cameron's feeling his groin at half time so I was a little bit worried um, which was part of my thinking of bringing him off really uh, he did run run a few yards and I'm worried about losing him um, you know so we got one or two we only had four subs today uh, unfortunately the, our loanee from Northampton got recalled to be around the first team squad yesterday afternoon when he was actually playing to be fair with we, we, you know, so that wasn't ideal either. Um, he won't be available, I don't think, for, for Monday. But, um, 
So we are, at, the, at this moment in time, we are only got four subs. So it, Max coming back in, if he does, gets us to a full bench. And of course, we've got Brad Burton injured and uh, Cartel Dawkins injured. So it will just be a case of assessing, I speak to Oz in the morning, um, see, obviously they'll need to report to him quickly with a heads up on anything. And then we'll crack on. Listen, we all, I think everybody in the league knows how difficult Hales Owen's going to be, Starbridge is going to be, Hale Church, Stratford, you know, they're all, they've all got lots of resources and, 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 and wise managers. So, you know, we, we know we're up against it, but hey, Redditch are always up against it, aren't they? We've always got to dig in and fight. So that's, that's what we'll certainly do. And, and listen, we'll see which way the ball drops, whether it's kind or not. But back to today, and I'm really, really tough with the boys. So I, I couldn't be any happier at the moment. And lastly, I just wanted to touch on our furthest game of the season, but we brought quite a few fans today. Yeah. At one point, they were singing your name. Were they? Not with a no, chant already. Um, I didn't, yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure you'll hear that on, yeah. on Monday. Oh, um, I just wanted to, to touch on their support, and they were getting louder when we needed that bit Absolutely. of a Absolutely, yeah. Um, I mean, that, that, there was. I mean, for, considering it was a, it's a four and a half hour trip without the stop, so you're looking at you know, a nine hour round trip. What is it, 40, 50? There's, there's a good few, and it's an outstanding effort. Um, and it's not like you can go to the beach first because there doesn't seem to be one, but um, yeah, they're brilliant to have that kind of support away from home. And listen, when you're back to the wall with 10 minutes to go with 10 men, you know, that, that always, can always be a big help to try and, you know, we managed to suck the ball into these corners and kill some time late on. So yeah, I'd like to thank them very much for, for getting behind us and travelling with us. So yeah, hopefully, I mean, I'm, I would imagine there'll be a big gate Monday. Um, certainly, I'll have a lot of visiting fans. I think there'll be a few Reddit fans as well. So, you know, it, hopefully we can uh, try and put on a good show for them.